Hey folks, it's Fritgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Farming Simulator 22 here in the Rizu Forest. We'll do a quick test. We'll drive the Kubota in and we'll see if it's smooth. It doesn't really matter all that much because no one's ever going to be driving in here again. Like, once I've done this... But the reason I do this is because... You know, well, the reason I'm doing this is because I happen to... Like, I, I just like to make sure that it is correct. I like to make sure that it would work. So, we're parked in here with our car. And we want to get out. Which means that we come out here. And we back up to this bit. And, I mean, we can turn around. We've got a sharp turn on here. And that works just fine. So, we can do that. I don't think it's too steep. I don't think it's too rough going in and out of there. I think that's going to work as well. We bring the vehicle in, we've got option two is we go up that way and then we can just reverse all the way in over here into our parking space and we're ready to just pull out from there and be on our merry. So we've got that bit fine. The next bit that we want to do is we want to make sure that nobody drives off the edge of that and there's no nasty accident. So first up... I want to decorate the edges. It's half past four in the afternoon. Um, all right, I'll do a little bit more of this. It's only on 30 times speed. I normally have this on a higher speed. Um, actually, no, I don't want to do that. I want to do the painting first. Unfortunately, I don't have the texture that I would really like, which is a cobblestone texture. That would be the perfect one for this particular job. Uh, this is... A really nice texture that I do like, but it's not suitable for here. That's not what I want for there. So we're going to have to go with one of these stone ones. Which isn't what I would like to do here. I would like... There is a cobblestone texture that I've used on another map. And it is absolutely fantastic. It's beautiful for doing walls. And it would be perfect for this particular job. It really would. But we don't have that here. So never mind means I want to do... I'm going to do this as my stone wall. Like that. And I will do that as grass down there. But this bit here is... We're going for stone wall effect on this. So we're just going to use our imaginations a little bit on this. And just pretend that this is a built stone wall. Rather than a natural stone wall. So it's going to go along there because I haven't got any options here for a built stone wall that I can put into the bank right here which is what I would particularly like to have that would be my personal choice for this because it would genuinely make this work that, that would be the bit that we would need to complete this I think down a little bit there okay and a bit here. It's always difficult with slopes. It's getting the, the, the bits at the bottom and so on, getting it to look right. I think that's pretty good. So you would have some little patches of grass and stuff around the top. Although if it was a if it was a built stone wall, you wouldn't, would you? Well, not necessarily. So we'll do the same with this. We'll we'll treat this as a built stone wall. And we will remove the patches of greenery up here comes out there that will go here yeah, it's fine that will go there got a brighter one and I want to do the same along here and this is why I wanted the built stone wall because I thought that that would also look good to be a reinforced bank that goes around here so obviously we've dug right into the hillside here, so you need something a little bit more substantial to hold that back. You need a, a decent retaining wall in there, because if you don't have a decent retaining wall, everything does come spilling down eventually. And that's not what we want. So as we've already got a built retaining wall all the way along here, what we would also do is just sort of build that out right the way down to the bottom, except that some of that is going to end up being a footpath. And it's going to be a different material again. Let's have a look. Um, 
That's about it for the retaining wall. Bit more up there. Yes, this is the slight problem we've got with these texturings. Is this this is a game limitation as opposed to anything else? Is what you can put and where. So you've got like these big sections of it, and I don't want that section there. That I definitely want as grass because I don't want it under the fence. But then it does stick out on. I'd rather it stuck out on that side than over here. So there's that bit there. And then the other bit that I wanted to do before we stop is I want to go to the fence. And I'm going to go with all the usual imagination and glory that um, these kinds of places built by councils and are normally sort of constructed with. They use exact same fence all the way along for everything. So we've got the same imagination and glory that you'd expect from any kind of government department. There we go. So we've got a safety fence up there so we don't have people driving their cars off the edge, which is exactly what we want. The safety thing, not the people driving off the edge. We don't want them driving off the edge. Let me just clarify that. And back to this one. Switch over. Um, go up a step. There we go. And that's going to be a little bit of stone coming out to there. Right. Fence doesn't need to go any further than that, I don't think. And then next time we'll start working on the footpath that comes around. So we've now got everything that we want there and we're just going to test this one more time now that we've done the painting and just make sure that everything does look all right so we've had a hard day at work we're coming in we drive up we're over we're over there on the end we can get in around here and we can drive in forwards if we want to i don't want to i, I don't like to drive in forwards i like to drive in backwards there's a very particular reason for that when you get somewhere, it's always a good idea to have your escape route planned before you do anything else. Because otherwise, you may need to leave in a hurry, and then you've got to spend ages turning around. But here, we don't need to worry about that. Our escape route is already planned. Off we go. So we've got some uninvited guests. We don't want to put up with them any longer. We want to go off to the shops. We don't have to spend ages trying to turn around under the... Um, wrathful gaze of the guests who were escaping, we can just leap in the vehicle and rush off. See? It's easy. Always have your escape route planned. If you've got to turn your car around in order to leave, turn your car around when you get there first. Don't wait until it's time to go before you start trying to turn your car around. Have your car facing the right direction before you stop it when you get there first. It's so much better. Right, uh, that's enough for that, and we are sleeping until January. I'm now up to 82,000 euros. So that was, by the way, a special tip from Frithgar on how to socialize and interact with other people. Make sure your car is turned around and ready to rush away from said other people at the earliest available opportunity. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. I've got... 7,900 litres of food left. So, yeah, we, we definitely need to make sure that we feed the animals every day. Because it is... I mean, it's technically, they can have a month's worth of food left in here. So, they are doing their best to eat the whole month's worth of food. It would seem. But that's not very helpful. And let me go in here. I'd like them to have a little bit more than that. So we've got, this is the, the big one right here. And that's now on 50% reproduction. So that actually will work out just right for when we want to start selling the animals. They will reproduce one lot and then we sell them once that bit's done. So actually I do need this one on. We're on 837 right now. Silage is at 582. Two and the high price there is saying 580 so we're already higher than it's technically been any other time i'm going to actually we'll leave it on 30 times speed and we'll see what happens to the price in a minute it's go it's dropping at the moment but i've seen it on red where it's technically dropping and it's rising at the same time because of the 
time of the year, so you're never quite certain what's happening with that. Let's bring you over this way. And we're going to tip all of this out. You know, eventually, if we put enough in here, we might actually be able to see a scrap of hay on the floor in the shed. Either that or this one is just a deeply broken mod and we will never see anything. It could be either at this point. But I still don't see anything. Yeah. What about if I do this? Let's go over and have a look. It is out of 10 million, so I mean... Well, I don't see anything in here yet. I'm hoping we will eventually. Well, I'm going to ignore it for now, and I'm going to go over and get... So we're on now 20 past 9. It's still on 582, so it's not dropped, but it hasn't gone up either. Let's do a magical thing where the time just races on by. It's amazing how much fun you can have turning a tract around. It's like the hours are just racing by as we do our little bit of driving around in our case tractor. It's almost as though time were just running through our fingers. It, it, time really does fly when you're having fun. See, it's lunchtime already. Look at that. It's magic. That's what it is. It's magic. And it's still on 582. All right, you know what? I'm not going to tempt fate any longer, and we're not going to do any more with um, wanting time to pass us by, because otherwise it just might. And we will race on round here, and we're going to fill this one up. And I'm going to sell every single little bit of silage that I get out of here. Grass, straw, silage. 812,000 litres, and we're selling it at 582 per thousand litres, which means the, that's just over half. So we're looking at about a half a million euros for this. So while that's filling up... What are we going to buy? We're half a million litres coming in. We've got a big tractor that we're using at the moment. The Zerian saddle track there at, five, at 462, it's not been stevified, which means that it's going to be an awful lot slower. And I'd like to have one standard tractor, which we've got, that we're using at the moment. Um, and then I'd also like to have a stevie tractor. Now, that one's been stevied. Um, but I don't particularly like the tracked tractors. Not a fan of those. This one does do 50k because it's been stevified. So th there is always that. Track setup. Standard 3 meter dual. Wow. Okay, that looks pretty cool actually. <clears throat> but that's never going to fit into our shed. Uh, engine setup. Plus 20 grand. 415. 155, 495, 850. Oh, the engine setup changes as you go up through. 850. Oh no, yeah, sorry. I thought it was out 850 horsepower. I didn't read the. I didn't read the letters. Okay, ignore that. So we've got a 1,200 horsepower tractor right there. I think Stevie's been hard at work here, and that's 420,000, which is tad expensive. Uh, this one here goes up to 420 horsepower. Um, we could always get a John Deere. We've got other options here as well. I don't want a big bud at the moment. Really fancy one of those. I've got Zerians here. Zerian 3000 series. That That's not the saddle track, is it? Saddle track is different. Where is that saddle track gone? Syrian. Oh, it's there. No, that's the 4200. That's a, that's a different thing entirely. Um, tour edition. That's different. A lot of John Deere's up through here. The T8 Genesis Float Edition by Stevie. 435 horsepowers. It's got the big fat wheels that we've been using lately. Uh, the maximum there, 435 horsepowers. Standard. 
Wheel weights, wide tyres. That's wide tyres, good gravy. Crawler, standard. Ah. You can go for the rear. Those rear twins are huge. Right, that's a slightly different one that I would want. And we've got this one here is edited by Stevie as well. We've got quite a lot of options here with this Zerian 5000 that is by Stevie. And I'm thinking I'm going to go with this one. It's 434,000 for that tractor. Anyway, we'll deal with that in a minute. Look through a few different one different options that we've got there, so we'll we'll take a look at that. So the case is reached the end of its natural life. And we're going to take something different and start using that. But first of all, we're going to start selling all of this. So let's slow that down to one times. So I don't want that to be going up anymore. And I'm looking here, still on five eight two. That's not changing at the moment. So we'll just leave it as it is. And I need to work through and sell all of this. So, load numero uno is still going. Still going. That dude has got purpose in his life, doesn't he? Look at that. He is on his way to get a chocolate bar. That's what he is doing. He has decided that chocolate is on the menu right now, and he is going to get his chocolate no matter what. I respect that. I admire that. I understand where you're coming from, my dude. I feel you. I feel your pain, but why are you just wandering backwards and forwards? It's because he needs chocolate. He's confused. $139,862. at uh, euros. 140,000 euros. Right there. And now we need to get a couple more such loads. And then we will have the money that we need to buy that class Zerian tractor that is going to be the next big bad boy that we're going to use. And we go back in here. So we got we got two more full loads that we can get. And then Ooh. See that one would be nice as well. Maybe we'll use that one as our standard tractor, but um it's this one over here that I want, the class Zerian five thousand. Now what you've got, so you've got the wheel set up, you've got front and rear floats with weights. Twins, triples, triples are so cool. But we can't fit that in a shed, and this is our shed tractor, so it's going to have to be the narrows. Front and rear floats. No, I don't want that. I want these. This It's going to have to be the narrows, because we can't fit in the shed without it. Uh, we'll go with the EU design. That's just what I prefer personally. I don't like the wider spread on that. Um, but you've got these additional weights that you can put on, and they're actually on the back. So you put on a plate, and then you can add in a whole load of additional weights like that, which I thought was pretty cool. So I don't know. I don't think there's anything that we would want them for. But you've also got the same on the front. It says right there you've got attacher type. So we can then go and add in a few extra weights on here, 3,400. And we've also got a three point, and then we've got a standard. So I'm going to put a three point on the front of this one. Just in case. Not sure if we need it. Then we've got the Zerian engine. So there's 480 there. That's 647. That's what I'm going to go for. It does 60k, this beastie does. And yes, I'm going to put the GPS onto it as well. We'll just leave the license plate as it is. That is... Yeah, we'll just leave it that. Um, I don't think there's anything else that I want to do with this one. So that is going to cost us 452,500 euros, which I don't have at the moment. I've got to wait until I have sold a little bit more of this silage. So we've got round two coming in here. Still 582. No change on there. And that is the next trailer full. It takes quite a while for it to pump through. It would be good if we... if Maybe I should tweak some of these numbers so that they empty out a little bit faster. I don't know. I'm not going to worry about that. And we have got another 140,000 euros. That puts us on to 366, which is still not enough to buy our tractor. So I want to go back round over here and I want to fill this bad boy up once more. So I'll bring you over here and start filling. 
332. I've got 240,000 space. So while that one fills, if I go to construction, I can go up here. <clears throat> Excuse me. We have done a whole load of work up here. Um, but what we haven't got yet... <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry. What we haven't got yet is an entranceway. So we're going to need to very carefully make a path that will be able to come in as an entranceway. And so what I want to do with that is I want to try and use the actual slope. So I've got this bit here. So I bring that one out. And then I want to bring that over like this. I don't know if I can make this work or not. But I am going to try my best wrist. So this area up here, I kind of want that left open like that. This is going to just push down a little bit there. So that's going to be leveled. And then I'm going to bring this bit. This is also going to be leveled out. And it's going to come over here. So this is going to be more like a balconied area. And bring that round the house as well. And then bring that up there. One more. Okay. So that bit goes there. Now what I want to try and do is I want to be able to use the slope. So I, can, I can't make the area any smaller. To use the slope, you right click at the top up there right, I've right clicked there and then you bring your slope down here so I click the other button down here that's where the slope will start and then it will run the slope up to where I right clicked on the top and I've now got a straight line slope there that goes to the point where I set that slope and it doesn't matter which direction I go, it will try to put everything at that level, focusing on the bit that the point that's at the top. So that did seem to work. A bit difficult to see, but yeah, that does I, that seems to have worked there. And um so then what we'd want, we want a little bit of painting. Now we've got concrete that we could use here. So I could do a white slope on there like that. I don't really want... I'm thinking I'm going to concrete this area up here because then that's more like a patio raised area and then we'll fence this in up here. And I'll use the same unimaginative fence up there because I just imagine that this entire block of flats was built by a city official and... Um, yeah, so you, you know the types of buildings that we would get from that, and that's the kind of building I'm imagining right here. And if you've got a building that has been designed by a city official, you would expect it to have all the colour and joy that you see from so many city centre buildings. They look like this. They look drab and grey, and then they go and put a hanging basket in front of it to lighten the mood. It just doesn't work, does it? But those types of buildings are, say, are the same the world over. They, they, they all are. They're, they're all the same. The same. I'm pretty sure that there is a special training school for the city officials to go to to build these various different structures. They're very grey, neutral, and... They sap everybody around them of anything resembling joy. But I'm not quite sure why they've had to be trained so hard in order to do that. Surely there are better ways. Who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? I've never tried designing a building, so I'm probably... I, I probably shouldn't be casting aspersions on someone else's ability to design a building. Um, hmm. 
We'll, we'll get to the plants bit in a minute. We'll, we'll do that in a bit. So, I'm going to want this bit here. Because this isn't a... Ooh, the ground's raising up there. You raise me up. You raise me up. Do 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 do. I don't remember the rest of the song. And yeah, I need I need to listen to the song. And. Yeah, I kind of just need that to slope back round there like that. And there. This bit here, I do want kind of a face on that. And again, this is why I really want the a stone. Rather than this stone texture here, I really want a different type of texture to be available. But we haven't got it, so let's go with this. We use this stone texture here. See, a cobblestone texture at this point would be great, because that looks really good on a wall surface. You can not only have a cobblestone texture on the ground, but it also looks good on a wall surface as well. Um, it makes it look like it's a built wall, and that's what I really like. So I'm going to put that one around there. And... Uh, let's put that over to there and around the sides. All right, we're cooking on gas now, and got a bit of concrete up here on the top. So this bit here is going to be concrete. That's going to come out over the edges. I'll deal with some more of the bits around the side later. Just want to fill in this bit. There we go. Those are looking good now. I'll bring that bit back around there as well, because I want that to be concrete. This is all going to be concreted out the front. Okay. This here is grass, and we'll we'll sort of slope that out, and we'll do something a little bit different with that. Uh, the gravel, actually, I want to bring that back a little bit more, don't I? That's that that's that looks better, I think. That looks better. And what do we do with that bit? It can be graveled. There. That's all right. That's all right. Like that. Um, this bit will need to be altered slightly, unless I bring that out. No, because we've got the the main entrance. We've got a side entrance here, except that, I think, would go out to the garden. So this area in the front, this can be separate. Uh, let's quickly put the fence in before I go back to selling the rest of our other stuff. So we want... There's the imaginative fence. And I'm going to bring that one out. That's going to go... Apparently it's not going to go out that way. didn't like it. Alright, let me go the other way. It's going to go that way. I'm going to bring that over as tight as I can to that wall. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.